Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stephanie and I make videos every week and I just really love makeup. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's video is going to be my most used eyeshadow palettes of 2018. I love eyeshadow. I love doing different looks, making different looks. <laughs> um, yeah, but I like to experiment a lot with different eyeshadow palettes because I do have blue eyes and I do love to enhance the blue of my eyes. I know they're already blue and that's a unique color, but I just really like to wear eyeshadow that complements my eyes, <laughs> my eye color a lot. So that's why I experiment with a lot of different palettes, um, a lot of different colors, and I've really found what works for me and what makes my eyes look the best and um, just really all around great palettes. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a video with me. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have narrowed it down to this pile. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have kind of separated these into like my minimal most used to my most most used. So um, yeah, the first one is the Alamar Cosmetics Palette. This is the Reina del Caribe. Caribe eyeshadow palette volume one um i got this in a boxycharm box but i really was drawn to these four down here and also this very beautiful blue one and this one right here is just a beautiful beautiful color i don't know if you can see that that one was a beautiful color. I also really loved this blue one right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That one was just, yeah. So, um, yeah, so this Alomar Cosmetics palette, like I said, I got it in my BoxyCharm box, but I took this with me to Portugal, um, or the Azores. My family and I went to the Azores in August of 2018 and I used this I didn't wear makeup often because we were swimming a lot and it's very humid but when I did use <laughs> when I did wear makeup this is my go-to pal palette um, while I was there and also kind of like all summer um, just because I just I love these warm like peachy and like a rust orange I just love the warmth of this one right here and I just love the the blue in here and the um like pinky golden -y color it just they are really great colors they're really great quality it's cruelty free also as well which is really cool um so yeah I really loved this during the summer and when I went to Portugal this is all I had on my eyes because I wore a lot of bright colors and it really kind of went with uh, the this palette but other than that, I really think it is a great palette. And you can tell I used it because it's dorky. <laughs> Next, um, this is the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette um, from her Morphe Vault collection. The inside looks like this. Um, this palette, I'm not one to gravitate towards cool colors. Um, at all like I said because my eyes are blue so I like to keep everything really warm but this I found I used a lot like during the fall because um, I gravitated towards these more like this whole bottom row right here that was like these dark the just I gravitated towards these bottom ones and then I really used a lot this like silver um, shimmer shade right here pressed shimmer shade so um, yeah, I, I use this quite a bit, but I, I probably won't gravitate towards it now in 2019 and since the months are going to get warmer from here on out. Um, it just, I'm not a cool tone girl, but 
if I do explore Nicole tones, I used this one quite a bit. <laughs> um, <coughs> bless me, Jesus. Next is another eyeshadow palette that I got in my um, BoxyCharm box, and this is the Crown um, Pro eyeshadow palette. This one is very loved, as you can tell. Um, this one I literally use, I grabbed for all this year. Um, I, I really, really love this palette. I think that it has all of the warm shades that I would gravitate towards. This one, this one, this one. I love this shimmer shade right here. It's a great shade. You could make so many different eye looks with this or just keep it really, really simple and throw this in the crease. And that's what I did a lot. Um, especially with work. If I want to glam, I don't often, but if I want to make myself, I don't know, after the gym, when I get home from the gym, if I feel like throwing on eyeshadow, I'll just do a run around of this in the crease or all over the lid and then pop this in the inner corner and on my brow bone and add mascara and I'm good to go. So I really loved this palette. It is so versatile and it's such good quality. And look at how big these eyeshadows are. I feel like um, and it comes with a mirror, so yeah, this one was a win, and I, like I said, I got this in the BoxyCharm box. I don't remember what month, but I'm sure if you go onto the Crown website, you could find it there. Moving on, um, the Juvius Warrior Palette, Juvius Place Warrior Palette, um, first off, can we talk about the cover? It's gorgeous. Um, I loved this palette. I mainly reach for three shades in this and that was this one this one and this one um you can't very that was rude so I never really grabbed it on its own but I grabbed it to use with other palettes and I really really liked it um Juvia's Place has great palettes um for reasonable prices um yeah, the Juvia's Place one um I liked it I grabbed like I said it wasn't something I used really on its own it was more of something that I used um, in junction with another eyeshadow palette just to create more looks, but I do think they have quite a few shades in there that are really really good um, Next is something I grabbed for Stephanie your fire <laughs> Next is a palette that I grabbed for um, Quite a bit. I also took this to Portugal and I also used this um religiously during the summertime as well and this is my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is a an amazing palette um, just for I mean you could do so many different looks with this. I I love 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 all of the just a variety of colors in here and they're just all great quality. Um, Breakaway is one of my favorites, Blaze, um, I did a lot of looks with Riff, Baja, and Punk, I mean, there's just so many shades in here you could create so many different looks with, um, and it's just, it, I think it's a really, really great palette to invest in, um, and that, this could work for any eye color, I mean, I'm not sitting here telling you you need to get these just because you have blue eyes. But the warmth of the color in here, like some of the warmer shades, just work so well for my eyes. Um, and the ones I gravitated to the most, most, like I said, was Riff, Baja, and Punk. Um, and then I do a lot of Blaze or Breakaway on the lid. So this is a really great palette. Great quality. I mean, look at the mirror on this. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> great. Um, this is totally worth it. Um, not inexpensive, it's a little more pricey, but it is Urban Decay and you're getting a lot of shadows in here, so this is a great one. And the last two are my top favorite. They have gone beyond 2018. They just are my all-time go-to everyday palettes. Um, one I use more than the other, but both of them I grab for, and that is the Morphe 35O palette and the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this one is my baby right here. I'll talk about this one first. This one has had so much love and um, I just, I really think it is 
the greatest palette for me and for my eyes. For my eyes, like they have a mind of their own. Do you guys love this palette? Why yes, we do. Jaclyn created a palette with just so many shades in here that just work so well together and just I mean this whole chunk right here is just me like I today on the eyes I use this 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 and this and I just and a little bit of this oh um but this palette for me it's just I can't I can't even talk it's I'm starstruck like can I have your autograph um I highly recommend it to everybody it just the colors in it are just so rich and pigmented and warm and just oh you can create so many smoky looks cranberry and then you got these random pops of like um this green in here i used that in my holiday look um these two colors are just oh my god this one like do you want to be a mermaid it's just this is my child i use this every single day every single day okay um, and then the other one is the Morphe 35O palette. Um, and this is another really, really good one to have. I grab for this a lot too, but a lot when I want to do more smoky looks because it's got all these ones down here that are like the deeper shades. Um, and I grab for these a lot as well. Um, and I want to talk about Morphe quickly. Not sponsored <laughs> or anything. Like, honestly, I've bought all of this stuff myself, but... I think Morphe on its own is a really great brand. Um, they, they're so affordable and to be, to love to experiment with makeup and like someone like me, I, I love to experiment with makeup. I love to buy as much as I can and have as much as I can, you know, just because I, I love it so much. and. Morphe being such an, an inexpensive brand, but the quality being so great is so awesome. I just think that the palettes they come out with are just great. It's crazy to me. They have such good quality eyeshadows and brushes. Um, and they're just, I think it's so amazing. They're a really great brand. So these two are my top two favorites of 2018. I grabbed for these guys every single day. They are my absolute go-to. They will continue to be my go-to until I find something else, I guess. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll see what comes about. Um, but yeah, that being said, these four that I talked about before are not on the back burner either. I still highly recommend these ones. Um, the Urban Decay, if you're wanting to spend more money, is a great, is a great option. This one has so many so many different colors and we we all know urban decay has great palettes the naked palette r.i.p that was a great one and so this one if you're willing to spend more money is a great one i'm sure a lot of you have it already but it's a staple in my collection um absolutely will continue to take that into 2019. um the juvia's place one although i grabbed for it a lot in 2018 to use in junction with other eyeshadow palettes i don't think i would carry this on to be like my absolute favorite in 2019 um I have a lot of people in my life that would probably use this more than I would so I might donate this one on to somebody but this is still a great palette Juvia's Place is available at Ulta online and in store I don't know my Ulta near me doesn't have much ever fix that please um so this one I got online um but Juvia's Place is in Ulta so accessible um and they have some great options so i would check this out if you like the colors in here um these two i'll definitely take on with me in 2019 um i think though they are great great options to have all right guys thank you so much for watching that was my most used palettes of 2018 i hope you all enjoyed um let me know what palettes you're taking into 2018 and let me know if you'd like me to do a look, um, an eyeshadow look based around blue eyes because I do get a lot of questions about how I make my, I don't, I don't hide my eyes with my makeup. Like I make my eyes stand out with my makeup and I get a lot of questions on that. So if you have blue eyes and you're wondering how to make them pop more with makeup, let me know and I will make a video about that. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I'm filming this on a Sunday, so by the time it goes up, it will be the beginning of the week. So yeah, I hope you all have an amazing week and um, much love from my house to yours. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.